Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to use Q file dialog with your Qt GUI C++ application. So let me show you what I have shown you last time. So whenever I click this button, it opens a file dialog, and whatever file I select, it shows the path of that file in a message box. In this video, I will show you how to open any .exe file which is present in your system and which you can open it with the double click of your uh, uh, mouse or whatever application, for example, Google Chrome or VLC Media Player or PDF file or any file with this button itself. So I'm going to use the code from the last video to open and select the executable file so for example i uh, i go to my desktop i want to open this uh, chrome or i want to open some other ide netbeans ide or vlc player how can i open it with this open file dialog so open file dialog uh, i have already shown you how to open this file open file dialog so i will take the code from the last video so if you haven't seen the last video just go and watch the last video and what i have done in this uh, in the last video i just click go to slot and first of all i let me change the name so i will say open open the file for example okay and i will right click go to slot and i will select select the first option and this was uh, the code i have shown you in the last video i'm going to use the same code to open the file dialog okay so just go and watch that video if you have any confusion and what i was doing in that code is i was opening the file dialog and i'm taking the name of the file dialog in this string okay which is file name now for opening the file i need to include some of the header files so i will write here include q desktop services so this is first and the second header I need to include is include QURL. Okay, so these two header files I need to import. And in here, I will just comment this message box because I don't want to show now the file name in the message box. And just be below this fi open file dialog, I will declare. Uh, variable but I will write Q desktop services and then I will write open URL and in this bracket I will make one more bracket and I will close this and here I will write Q URL okay and in the inner box of this QRL, QURL, I will write the path. So this is the path I am getting from the file dialog. But alone this path will not open your file. You need to give an extension that it's a file. So you need to give here, right here file and then colon and three the times you need to give slash so write file colon and then first slash second slash and third slash okay and the second argument you need to give in this q url is because 
it doesn't know which file system you are using if you are using Linux file system or you are using the Windows file system so I'm because I'm using the Windows machine so I'm using the Windows file system so I will write here Q U R L colon colon tolerant mode okay so I will write this and now I will run my program and see if it's running or not so save it and build the pro project and it's saying that Q URL open URL does not take two arguments let me see here okay so open URL will take one argument because URL would be one but this Q URL takes two arguments so I will just copy and cut this code after this comma and I will pass it here in this inside bracket where I'm passing the path of the file okay so now this code should work so if you want you can copy it and now I will build the code once again and it should build now okay it's working now when I click this open the file it's opening my C directory and for example I want to open first of all a VLC player so I will select VLC player and click open and it will open my VLC player okay so it has opened my VLC player for example I want to open once again the Mozilla browser so I will just click it and click open and it will open my Mozilla browser or for example I want to open some picture so I will go and select here pictures and I will select sample pictures and I will select a picture and it will open a picture here or whatever file you want to open you will be able to open from this code so now for example I can open anything I think you understood what I want to say okay so in this way you can open any exe file which you can open on your desktop using this code I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now